Welcome back to Math We Know. Which is larger? Two to the power of 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 two, or four to the power of four thousand four hundred forty-four. Hmm. Welcome to join us and become a member. Now click the link on the top and know more about it. First, the left side is a little bit horrible, isn't it? Four exponents. So first, you have to know one thing: the calculation. How should we calculate this guy? From the bottom to the top, or from the top to the bottom? Of course, from the top to the bottom. First, two to the power of two is the exponent of this two, and then we should calculate. Two to the power of two to the power of two, and this is the exponent of this two, and then we calculate this guy, at last, the whole thing, and then it is equal to first two squared is four, so the highest exponent is four. So write this four instead of two squared, and then, mm hmm, two to the power of four. It is also not large. It is sixteen. Now our another problem appears. Two to the power of sixteen. It is too large for us to calculate. We cannot continue analyzing the left hand side. Now is the turn to the right hand side. Four to the power of four thousand four hundred forty-four. Hmm. We know that four is also a nice number, since it is two squared. So it is equal to two squared all to the power of four 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 four. Now I'm gonna use this formula. A to the power of m, all to the power of n, is equal to a to the power of m times n. So it is equal to two to the power of two times four 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 four. It is eight 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 eight. The left hand side is equal to two to the power of two to the power of sixteen, and the right hand side this changed into two to the power of eight 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 eight. We have only to compare these two numbers. That's okay. Now, we shall compare two to the power of two to the power of sixteen and two to the power of eight thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. So two to the power of sixteen and eight 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 eight, which is larger. Hmm, factorization. Eight thousand eight hundred eighty-eight. It can be written as eight, then times one, 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 one. And two to the power of sixteen. It can be written as two cube, then times two to the power of thirteen. And we know that two to the power of three is just eight. They're equal. Eight times two to the power of three, uh, two to the power of thirteen, and eight times. One 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 one. Hmm. So I have only to compare these two numbers: two by thirteen and one thousand one hundred eleven. Obviously, two by thirteen is much bigger than one one one. Since two by thirteen, it is much bigger than two by eleven. And two to the power of eleven, it is two thousand forty-eight, and two thousand forty-eight is bigger than one one one. So two to the power of thirteen is bigger than one one one. So this is bigger than this. This is also bigger than this. This is larger, and this is larger.
Finally, four to the power four 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 is smaller than two to the power two to the power two to the power two to the power two. Do you get it? And don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more videos. Welcome to join us and become a member. Now click the link on the top and know more about it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.